Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Quake. We've come to what is this thing called again? The Rift, Episode Three, The Rift. So yeah, I was really surprised by um. Wow. Look at that. I was actually really surprised by how Quake's um expansions came out. Because I was kind of anticipating... Well, not this, to tell you that for free. Bio shoot. Um... Yeah, I kind of anticipated Quake's, like... Expansions to be, like, one episode each. It's like, that's what makes sense to me. That's what I've kind of grown accustomed to in the modern day and age of uh, DLC, I guess. Like, Quake comes out. I don't know if the first episode was shareware like it was for Doom, um, but it would make a lot of sense if it was. So, okay. okay. Old friend. Um, but yeah, and then the other four, well, the other three episodes for four total for Quake come out. Just like how Doom has its four episodes. Originally three. Oh, that's a, that's a fucking tech demo right there. Like, look, we coded a ski lift. Wow. Honestly, I'm kind of impressed. Um, I feel like I should go up first. Milner and the silver key. If they're giving me such a good weapon so early. Not to mention the key. They definitely want me to use it. <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, it works just as I hoped it would. Whoa, whoa, who are you? Hmm. Anyway, I'm distracting myself again, but, like, I was expecting, um, the Quake expansions to be, like, each one would be an episode, because Quake was four episodes, but as it happens, like, this one's three episodes, I think the next one is three episodes, I don't know if it's three, and each episode is a couple levels as well. Usually about five, I would say. I don't know that for sure, but I imagine by the end of all this, I'll be a quick expert. Hmm. Oh, this is the other side of this. I'm gonna load that. I don't really like that. I'm gonna explore around up here some more. Especially because I can just walk this way. Do it without a huge fucking problem.
There you go. I'll uh, avoid that for now, because I'm probably going to need it to get into the drink. And then this is just back here. Cool. But yeah, honestly, I'm just kind of impressed by it. Oh, shit. It is cool that you get so much out of each individual quick episode. Is that the only thing down here? Because I won't be, like, disappointed per se, but, like... Otherwise, this is just kind of an annoying stage hazard. Cells... I think that's everything. Yeah, I imagine you want to, you know, you don't want to feel like you got your money's worth. Because, like, obviously this game looks a whole lot better. And, you know, actually playing it, you know, you can feel that it's, like, not better than Doom, but it's definitely draws from its brother in a, in a big, big way. Um... And, like, I can feel that... I don't know that this happened, obviously, but I somehow sense that, like, a lot of people saw this game come out, and they were like, oh, it's just Doom again. They already played Doom, guys. Because, like, you have a lot of the same weapons. Use a lot of the same abilities. Do a lot of the same things. And, like, it has better graphics. For the time, better graphics. Oddly enough, Doom's graphics have aged better despite being older. Chambler. Ooh, I've got the lightning gun, though. Sheesh. Wow. Yeah, this is another thing that I noticed that they definitely do in um, the Doom and Quake levels and expansions pretty regularly. you can quickly, quickly tell how hard a level is supposed to be by how quickly you get the good shit. It's like, this is the first episode. Nope, this is the first level of the third episode. And they have already given me the lightning gun, the laser cannon. Mjolnir we got in like the first like five minutes. I've got the super nail gun. Boys. I can see seams here a little bit. Was the sequence shooting him? Whoa. Whoa. All right. Leap into the exit below. Well, you betcha. Let's get something good queued up just in case. Yeah, like, we, we've got all of the good shit .com, like, all right here, all right away. Hey, that's a normal soldier. What are you doing here? This isn't your level theme. Uh, I, th I think I mentioned this briefly, but, like, the quick levels were loosely organized into themes. And the themes are like castle, wizard, hell, something like that. You know, they all have they all have um, ideas like that. And so certain enemies don't show up in different things. What is this? So there's that little thing that spins around. Um, her name's Shubdagura, but I want to call her Quake. Especially because Quake is like 
definitely completely public domain. And Shubna Garoth at least has the stench of HP Lovecraft on her. But yeah, there was that little thing that was floating around Quake. And if you use the teleporter, you would swap places with it. And the little thing could enter Shubnigurath's body, but you couldn't, and it would telefrag her. Which is a clever way to kill a god and a final boss. And, like, an unexpected consequence of having a physical body. Like, haha, bet you didn't think you would have to worry about somebody fucking occupying the same physical space as you and exploding your body as a result, you fool. Lightning gun down there. Very right, opens elsewhere. Though it would kind of be interesting. Sorry, this this is that thought process. Whoops. This is that thought process we were having a little bit ago. A couple episodes ago, in fact. Where I talked about how, like... They're adding... New weapons to Quake. And the reason why that's okay is because... You know, sharing ammo types is a hallmark of mid-games. And there were just some things in Doom and in Quake Vanilla that didn't share ammo types. So, like, rockets didn't share ammo types, so you had to add the grenade launcher and the rocket launcher in. And in this, in Quake, um, cells didn't share their ammo with any other gun. But then they added the laser cannon. And then they also added Mjolnir and the proximity gun. Or proximity mine gun, I guess. Um, so now those things all shoot. Like, there are three guns that share the same ammo type. I just feel like it's a little less special now, you know? Because, like, the proximity mine launcher is cool. And the main difference that it already has... For, like, the main difference that the main grenade power things have... Is that one of them... Is your normal-ass rocket launcher... Cool. Cool. Oh, is this going to fall and then I can walk into that switch? Yep, I kind of thought so. Because this is the kind of switch you have to touch, not shoot. I feel like I dodge into those projectiles sometimes. Yeah, like, the difference from rocket launcher to grenade launcher is that the rocket launcher is just a good fucking gun. But you can't do, like, as many trick shots with it, whereas you can do, like, bounce shots and stuff like that with the grenade launcher. The proximity gun requires a lot more planning than I usually allow in Quake, you know, in any, like, shooter of this, like, boomer generation. Because, like... I just want to go, man, you know? The reason I often find myself not using Quake's own rocket launcher is because it requires me to be an outfighter. Damn it. And I like getting in, man. I see a demon, I instinctively put a shotgun to its chin. Oh, this is this thing, yeah. I instinctively put a, like, double barrel shotgun to its chin and just start shooting. That's, that's how I play Doom Guy, you know? And so being far enough away to, you know, not blast myself is... Oops, silver key. Kind of a side option, you know? But it's something I normally don't have to think about, so I don't. Why would I? So 
armor would do nice about now. Ooh, am I going to have a shooting gallery? Got a lot of nails. Let's burn some of these, huh? And the gold key! Ah, <sighs> funny. What does that do? I don't know what that does. Who mama? Uh oh. Well, we got him. I think we're good. Jump through the rift gate to exit. I'll save here just in case. Got all the kills. Nice. There's a mod called Too Many Shotguns for Doom that just does what I've kind of been describing, giving you extra needless shotguns. But some of them are fun. One of them is a, like, dual hexagon double barrel shotgun, so it has 12 barrels. One of them is, like, just a, a row of shotgun barrels that just goes vertically. And to reload it, Doom Guy is just like haphazardly slamming shotgun shells into the gun, like just slapping them in there. You use my own spells against me? Son of a bitch. Ooh, I swallow that one. Ugh. Squad damage. I love the drone that plays when you're firing and you, you're amped up on a quad. Okay. That reminds me, I think in the HD version, I think they might have patched the one, like, thing that shoots backwards in Chubnagorath's pit. Oh, down there, huh. I don't feel like going down there right now, but that's okay. Okay, this is the start. So I think I just took a shortcut back to the start. Makes sense. Landed on a guy's head. Oh yeah. 
Anyway, just the idea of thinking about a quad barrel shotgun in a game like this is, like, pretty entertaining just on its own merits. Oh, should I have been swimming while I had the... What? Yeah. That is a That is a problem. In a lot of games like this, like, sometimes... You're just kind of SOL. Because, like, you picked up a radiation suit. And then you weren't going the right way, so you missed the radiation pool, and now you only have a little bit for the suit. Though rather confusingly, there's actually a very, very small chance for you to burn through your radiation suit in Doom when you stand on lava or anything like that. Uh, and then you just don't have the suit, which is kind of weird. Curiously, it's also a function of RNG whether or not radiation or lava burns you to begin with. And so something you th you can do is you save, you run through lava. If it hurts, reload the save, wait like a second, and then run again. And if it doesn't, you son of a bitch. Really, guys? Right, maybe I can jump to it. Wow, they're really preeminent on that. Oh, this is a multiple stage elevator. So I can just keep going up. Interesting. Much like a real elevator. Gotta get to the silver key, because I need the silver key. What was your plan? You were standing in front of the trap, dude. That's not my fault. Two more to go. Whatever you say, mon frere. I uh, let him get too far into his attack animation. Close. Please fuck off. Now, that is not what I needed, guys. <laughs> fuck. Wow. That was lucky. Rather be lucky than good any day, though. Now, where do I need to put this thing? Ugh, brother. I want some fried chicken. I really shouldn't be hungry when I record. Because I feel like I do this all the damn time. We're finally getting a uh, Raisin Cane's, which is a local chicken restaurant. It tastes like Chick-fil-A, but they're not homophobes, and it also tastes better. I actually had some Chick-fil-A recently. Uh, it was free, which is why I had it. Because I'm not in the business of uh, watching, listening to, or buying chicken from uh, homophobes.
Jesus. Where did the gold key go? I don't think it's right here. But I'm still going this way. For some reason. <laughs> I ran out of space to run. And I didn't have a plan after that. Oh, yeah, it's down here, ain't it? Pick a boo. Somebody dropped a ring down here. Magic. So yeah, one thing is that the quake will keep eating your inputs when it freezes like this, so it's usually just good to pause the game. Oh, health. Robo Scorpion! Boy, that thing's a problem, huh? I'm pretty sure I've just scraped everything for ammo as well, so... If I'm going in, I'm going in. Who did I miss killing? Oh, it might have been the... The guy who I... Actually, I should pause it. Because... Let me just save here. We're at the Gauntlet, which is a good Doom level. But what's more, it's the second to last level in Quake's expansion, so. Um, as I kind of expected, a little shorter than Quake, uh, but it's an expansion, so that's, you know, kind of a, t a, kind of a given. Um, very, very fun. A lot of fun tech things that I'm seeing through here. Like, uh, they use the air vents a little more. Uh, the new weapons are cool, the new enemies are hard. Um... I like it. Uh, something I, I will say about all of these expansions, almost every expansion at this time was meant to be like a sequel or, you know, an extension of the game. Almost. Uh, and so, like, they only add harder enemies. They never add easier enemies. That's all. Uh, but yeah, I've been Alfred. Uh, this has been Quake. Everyone have a good day. Thank you.